Hello ladies and gentlemen, it is your host with the most white boy 7th street and I'm reporting right behind the front lines with a new gadget for the support class. A lot of people are interested in the mortar strike. We're going to be using the HE grenade to start off this video a little bit later. We're going to go over the other variant which is the airburst. Now you're going to see me gather intel from the camera angle that these first few misses and I'm going to adjust my shot, get a direct impact with the double kill. And you can just see the action going on in this game type, which is uh, Operations. It's new to Battlefield. I think Operations is going to be a new fan favorite to Battlefield. And it might take over Conquest. Just how epic and it feels like absolute war right here. We're at the back of the back. Like, they pushed us back and we have to defend this last sector but uh, I'm gonna notice here the enemies are penetrating us right now there's a tank right over this ridge which I'm really not comfortable with but I'm doing a good amount of damage to it and I disable it right here but I see my teammate uh, <laughs> fly over uh, this hill in absolute panic and I'm like okay we need to freaking fall back right now so I got the mortar strike open I'm trying to find a good uh, spot to put it down at and uh, we're going to go into the trenches right here and I thought this was a, a pretty good spot and you can see on the minimap so many freaking people right there. If I had the airburst variant I probably would have got a six man kill. Now I don't know exactly why this happened and I take out the tank and get a double kill as well and you can see the HE grenade are very very powerful against vehicles. Now I try to resupply myself as support. I have an ammo pack on me and I thought I could get more grenades but that wasn't the case. Now my camera got stuck in that like super third person uh, looking view and I'm not exactly sure what that was about. It kind of glitched out a few times for me because I, I liked when it was one shot at a time and I could adjust but when it got stuck like that I didn't know exactly where I was aiming because it didn't pull me out to the mini map where you first get the shot but you know I kill Stone Mountain right there shout out to Stone Mountain but uh, it's like trench warfare right now and this is just so freaking awesome like I was wondering where's the trench warfare in Battlefield 1 because there's a few trenches in the Battle of St. Scar that was the uh, alpha map and uh, they weren't really used but man the trench warfare is a lot of a lot of freaking fun so in this next clip I'm just going to show off that it does damage to vehicles. I think that first clip did as well, taking out the tank. But you can really get some shots on the behemoths because a lot of people said the train was overpowered and it was hard to really go and attack unless you had the element of surprise. But with a mortar strike, you can just go behind any building or in a trench and the train can not uh, attack you. So we're going to be using the airburst mortar right here. It's a little bit different. It's more like a shotgun blast I would kind of compare it to where it just has a more area of effect. And you can see so many people on this hill and you look at the mini map and it shows you that it's kind of a hill right there. And I just love how many people are right, right there. Like this is crazy. This is absolutely insane. I've been waiting for a game like this for a long, long time. And I know Battlefield 4 was a game, I mean, pretty similar to Battlefield 1 in terms of scale. And I just, you know, the launch issues really uh, turned me off of that game. And by the time I got back into Battlefield, people had these little robots driving all over the place. And I know it wasn't that hard to level up, but I don't know. It's the first impressions are a big deal. And I think my first impressions with Battlefield, I absolutely freaking love it. And the maps are so good and big and diverse. The maps are different. They're not similar. Like you're, you're in the desert one time, then you're on the ocean, and then you're on uh, the city streets of like Germany in these brick buildings, and then you're in the, a German capital, and then you're in the French streets. It's it's really cool, and I, I think they did a great job. Guys, please leave a like on this video. I know a lot of people probably were going to be interested in the Mortar Strike gameplay, so I tried to deliver some, and I, I did pretty good. I really am going to be interested in the Mortar Strike meta because I feel like it is pretty powerful, and I feel like uh, you get to see the people, though. Like, I, I, I'm suspecting that... Um, Wow, and the mortar strike gets me. Karma. Uh, I'm suspecting that 
people are going to be on mortar strikes. There's going to be like three people on one team mortar striking and three team uh, people on the other team. And when you're in that camera angle, when the mortar is flying, you're going to see other people mortar striking. And it's got to be a cool little chess game with the different ranges because you don't have a lot of range on most of these shots. Now, I did uh, figure out the air burst has a little bit longer of a range and the HE is a little bit shorter but uh, that being said if I had the HE grenade right here I would have blew up that building like I uh, got killed from last time and uh, anyways please leave a like on this video I had a lot of fun with the mortar strikes I hope you enjoyed some gameplay I hope you guys get the chance uh, test it out for yourself thank you guys for watching and I will see you guys later bye